Hello viewers, this is Herot Linnea. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen. And we are continuing our exploration of the bonus dungeon. Ho ho ho, I'm surprised to see folk all the way out here. How's about I give you a piece of advice? Have yourself a look at the bottom of the well. Alright, we will take a look. What's that glinting? Another mini metal. We are up to 66 mini metals. Everything in this house looks gigantic too. But here we can rest at an inn. And it doesn't even charge an arm and a leg. Now well, let's go downstairs. And we're in a dungeon-like area. Over here, we meet some Abaldons. So long, Abaldons. Aha! Elena reaches 42. Level 42. In this chest we can find... A seed of magic. Nothing in those pots. And a couple more Abaldons. So long, enemies. Let us continue our exploration now. There is a chest over there. Here we have a Dragoir and a Nightshade. Oh, a desperate attack. So long, Nightshade. Time to heal up the hero. And check out this treasure chest. Uh-oh, it's a Pandora's box. Not funny. Get rid of this thing quickly, team. It likes to use whack spells. And desperate attacks. Ow. At least we can do criticals too. Use that stuff of salvation on Kirill. 
and have Carol full heal Elena. Blast this thing also has drain magic. Goodbye, Pandora's box. Now oh, let us go back upstairs. Here are some drooling ghouls. Sorry, I'm not looking for any ghoul friends today. And Ragnar reaches level 41. Might as well rest up again. The rate is pretty reasonable. Not a thousand gold or anything like that. So let us leave this fun house and go th into this cave to the north. Ah, some stairs. We're back in that cellar. We can grab 1,200 gold coins from that chest. Now let's go north and down these stairs. Ooh, we're in a lava area. We'll just follow this path around. Two Draculards. These guys hit kind of hard. Also like to breathe flames. No big surprise there, because they look like dragons. Let's take this guy out, team. He also does a earthquake sort of attack. But the Draculards are defeated. So let's continue on our way. And we'll meet up with an Emperor Wyvern. And a Prism Peacock. Goodbye, enemies. Mm, 
let us continue. Now we'll turn east to grab this treasure chest. It contains a death mask. It is not a good idea to equip that because it is cursed. And now we have a prism peacock and a Dracula art. Let's try to take out that Dracula art first. Ow! That is painful, Draculard. Uh oh, this is all. Goodbye, enemies. Now let us continue on. After we deal with these Emperor Wyverns. And one of them flees. Goodbye, Emperor Wyvern. So sorry your friend deserted you. And continuing this way, we run into a couple of test ogres. There's one down. One to go. So long, Testu Goger Testu Dogers. This way we'll find a Downstairs stairway. Of course, now we have some Cerberuffs to deal with. So long, Cerberuffs. And Herot reaches level 40. Now 
Now let us go downstairs. We seem to be on some battlements. To the west here, there is a treasure chest with a pair of elevating shoes. Very interesting footwear. These will increase experience when you step around. I think I'll give that to Hayrot for now. A couple more Cerberuffs. So long, Cerberuffs. Let us head north now. A castle of some sort. Castle, fortress. To the east here, there is a treasure chest. With a seed of life. Some Decayorians. Don't you go cassapping me. physicals don't seem to be much to write home about. So long, Decay Orions. Let's go up here, then up there, and we can reach the northern part of the floor. Some more decay orions bite the dust again. Let's go up here now and up these stairs. We can find another treasure chest. This one has a cobra claw. A new weapon for Elena. But I don't think it's better than the Gringham Whip. Nope. Not better. Sorry. Here we have a Mimic and a Cerberuff. Nice job there, Mimic.
So long, enemies. Now let's get back down to the previous floor. Go to the west. And upstairs. Now here we want to fall down that hole. So we can access this platform and the stairway. Now we're on an interesting floor down here. First we want to go east. We run into a prison peacock. So long, Chicken Little. As you can see, we can't get to the treasure that way. Ooh, a couple of Metal King slimes. Can we get them? They both flee. Blasted chickens. Anyway, we go to the upper platform and follow it around. Another prism peacock. We should have our fill of chicken nuggets after this. So long, Prism Peacock. Now let's go downstairs. Ooh, a Metal King Slime. Get him, team. Drat. Anyway, we can now get to this treasure chest. It's a Pandora's box. Uh-oh. And it kills Elena. Perfect. Fortunately... Comrade Carol is versed in the Kabuff, I mean, the Kazing spell. Nice going there, Herot. Don't you drain our magic. We'll do you for that. So long, Pandora's box. Anyway, let's go back upstairs now. A Div and a Cerberus. That is a attack against all allies. Well, we've put the dog down. Now to take care of this demon. And the div can also use a bounce on itself. But it is defeated now. And Kirill reaches level 41.
Now the trick to this room is that there are invisible floors or bridges over those water pools. So long, Prism Peacocks. Anyway, want to follow over those water pools between going from pillar to pillar. And here we have some well wishers. Something tells me they aren't exactly wishing us well. But they are taken care of easily enough. And this leads us here. To this treasure chest with the Robe of Serenity. A Mimic and a Cerberus. So long, enemies. Now, we can just fall down and then go through to an open area. And if we go around these trees... Whoa, where did you spring from? You gave me quite a fright there. You should go and confess in the church just there while you're around these parts. Then you'll be able to come back here again anytime you like. Well, that sounds good. Let's go across this poison pool to this treasure chest. And we get 1600 gold coins. Not bad at all. This is the Pinnacle Chapel. Hello, how do you goo? I'm not the priest, you know. No, the priest's over there. Go and see him if you like. We will do just that. I can't say much for your decor, priest. Anyway, we will save here and continue our exploration of the bonus dungeon in the next episode. This is Herr Rotlinia. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.